Alex back from Cabinet's Creek here, um, sort of continuing the story of uh, the Seleucid Empire during the Wars of the Didochi. Uh, not going particularly well. Um, I've lost a couple of battles since since recording last time, uh, and Seleucus and, and my main army is being driven back. The Egyptians have come up to help me, but still sort of being kind of defeated by uh, Antigonus Gonatus. Uh, so I'm kind of trying to reorganize the war effort here. Uh, I've taken some territory, but I don't know that we'll, we'd be sufficient um, in order to, to sort of win this war if I continue to lose battles at the rate that I'm losing them. Uh, so, good good stuff. Just, just really what we were hoping for. All right. I'm hoping to maybe merge... Seleucus with uh, some other other armies that I have in the area. Um, so the raiding army that was originally sent down to Palmyra. We'll see what happens uh, if that in fact is able to come to fruition. Looks like uh, again my, my priority is kind of to uh, just continue kind of a holding action here in Osirene, because if, if those area falls, then the, the, the war score will drop drastically, uh, and I'll not be able to, to take any territory, uh, which would be uh, kind of a shame uh, after all of this blood and treasure that has been, uh, been wasted uh, on the, the war. Um, it looks like one of my armies is going to be trapped fairly badly, uh, so that's not great, um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe we can manage to avoid that fate. I'm going to merge these armies together uh, and actually go with a different tactic here. Um, so now I have one respectable army. I imagine this army will probably be stacked right uh, by the... yeah, great, um, by the computer. So clearly Clearly, you can see my my vaunted skill as a as a paradox game player. Uh, so, trying to kind of knock this guy out of here, um, so he doesn't take back uh, the territory that we're actually fighting the war over. Um, and I'm also going to I'm going to build some more forces, but uh, currently we need 7,000 men for our for our armies to be back in full capacity. So. We'll see what happens. All right, so we're chasing them out, which is good. Uh, I might actually send this army of 10,000 men down to, down to sort of help Seleucus down here. But uh, long and short of it is the war is not going terribly well. Let's see what we could get from the from the war if we if we stop the conflict at this point. I hear you all jeering at me at home. Um, okay, so I could take two provinces, which is really not not sufficient for, for what I want to get out of this. Uh, if the whole point of the the war is to try and seize as much territory because we have claims on it because of that event as possible, it's not actually uh, a great outcome. an army of 25,000 men there. Uh, so I think we'll actually probably stay in this region. Um, and probably recruit some more troops. Which I'll pause to do. Uh, let's see here. And Achaeus, my second son, uh, up to up there to try and figure that out. Uh, and the enemy is really kind of coming back at us with, with force here. 
um, and moving a whole bunch of men into Tharsa, uh, which is the one of the areas that I'm trying to hold on to in order to keep the war score what it is. Um, there's more and more of them keep showing up, which means maybe that the Egyptians are having some more success uh, down here in uh, in the south. Uh, maybe that's, that's good. Uh, but let's see. Uh, I'm going to... Ooh, there's level 10 general. Uh, I'm going to sort of keep on the defensive for the time being and wait until I can uh, like achieve a superiority in the region. Alright, so... kind of chasing me out here. Now the war score's down to negative four. Should have made peace while I had the chance. Uh, chasing me here with an army of 40,000 men, a total of 60,000 men perhaps, or at least uh, 55,000 men in the, in the theater. I'm gonna get them out of there if I can, but maybe I cannot. Uh, so I'm going to try and move them down in here. Uh, we'll see how this all works out. Uh, looks like I'm supposed to win some of these battles, but I guess kind of time will tell here. Uh, if that's the case or not. Looks like I am, in fact, kind of winning at the moment. Although the enemy is trying to sort of maybe come in and make that not the case. Uh, so I'm going to actually kind of. Uh, no, 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 pause the game. Alright. Uh, I want to try and actually sort of concentrate my forces here so I can maybe attack the Aeolian League, maybe, uh, in the city of Kare. Uh, we'll see if I can, if I can manage to achieve that. Fingers crossed. They have a level 10 general. Uh, I have maybe some more troops, but uh, we'll see what we can manage to achieve there. Uh, this concluded, of course we won nothing but popularity. Uh, ooh, and now I am looking like I might not win. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Looks like they're initially kind of ooh, getting the better of it here because they have more men in the actual fight rather than another. 7,000 coming in, so maybe that'll tip the balance in my favor. It's pretty even in terms of numbers right now. Kind of starting to get ahead in terms of morale. Uh, but still losing more than they are in terms of manpower. <sighs> okay. Not going great. Still kind of ahead on the morale tracker. It's going to be a long one, folks. Yeah, I'm down to about 14,000 men now, and I have 20,000 and better, better morale, uh, even though I have lost uh, a number of soldiers, uh, sort of both getting exhausted. So we won the battle. Um, not, not bad, not bad. Uh, and of course now I need about 20,000 men to, to rebuild this army. Uh, and uh, But have defeated most of the the major enemy armies in the main theater of war. I'm gonna sort of gather up my replacement forces here uh, and bring them into the theater of war. Uh, but in many ways this conflict's not going terribly well, uh, I'd say. Uh, Stack wipe a group of 1,000 enemy troops. Um, we're gonna now try to split up the army again. 
Uh, so they're not all suffering huge amounts of attrition. <sighs> the enemy is, has sort of a, the mercenaries in the region. No, it looks like a regular, regular uh, Phrygian army in the, in the region down to the south towards Dura Europus. Uh, and I'm trying to prevent them from coming through and destroying us here. Hopefully I'll be able to retake these two provinces, which will boost my war score back up uh, kind of significantly. Um, and at that point, perhaps, regain the initiative and, and go back on the offensive. With any luck. Uh, with any luck, with any luck. Although manpower is getting, getting rather low. I'd rather not hire mercenaries unless I have to. generals of my replacement army here and move them up to confront these Phrygians here at Dura Europus. A historic site that was destroyed, actually, uh, recently by the Islamic State. Uh, one of the heartbreaking things that's happened in the, in the past few years has been the, the destruction of much of the archaeological um, ways of, of exploring Seleucid history, uh, either by, you know, sort of being directly destroyed or being uh, being targeted by like relic hunters uh, or sort of un unsanctioned relic hunters who aren't aren't trying to sort of preserve their finds, and we're just selling them off. Uh, so, kind of a depressing note, I think, to end the video on. But that's probably where we're going to end it for the day. We kind of stabilize the situation, uh, and perhaps we'll we'll resume uh, the offensive uh, when we come back next time.